Hey, Royal Watchers. Thanks for being here. Welcome back if you're coming back. If you're new, welcome to our channel. Here, this is just tarot cards, guys. We're all friends here. We all don't share the same opinions, and that's the way I like it. You don't, we don't learn if we all agree about things. So I want to ask, and I did a reading before when Harry and Meghan were in Jamaica. If it's in my playlist. Um, that was like before there was any cancer diagnosis that was talked about even. And that reading and that timing of it is pretty crazy. So I want to ask about this Nigeria trip. Let's just ask a basic question. Like why are Harry and Meghan going to Nigeria? I mean, it seems pretty random. I know she said she was like 42 or 47% Nigerian, which is a biological impossibility. Especially because in college, Meghan Markle said she was of Mediterranean descent. So she got like free trips to Malta to study her ancestry. And then as an actress, she said she was Caucasian. And then she didn't start saying she was black, like half black or publicly until she, um, until she started becoming a royal. And now she's like 40 some percent Nigerian, which would mean that her mother would have to be like 100% Nigerian to pull that off. And she's not. So why are Harry and Meghan going to Nigeria? I wanna know if they're bringing their kids. I got a lot of questions, but why are they taking this trip to Nigeria in the first place? What's their motivation? For this Nigerian trip one fell out and it's the hermit in reverse so it's not for like some deep enlightenment it's also to not be alone to get out of the house why are they going to Nigeria though why are Megan and Harry taking this unroyal or semi-royal tour in Nigeria Three of Cups in the reverse. So this is a breakup of a friendship. Also means the party's over here. Three or more people. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Right up top, Five of Pentacles. This is a card about poor health. It's also a card about being out in the cold. It's a card about being um, down on your luck. If it's not poor health, it's usually poor um, money wise so I don't think that they're poor financially so we're talking about ailing health here things aren't going good okay ups and downs here with the two of pentacles lots of pentacles so far in the high priestess the keeper of all secrets the high priestess knows all the secrets but she never tells a word very a card that's very heavily um, into intuitions, using your intuition, your third eye, that kind of thing. Okay, let's roll. So things aren't going well here with, ooh, I saw the next card. Things aren't going well here. Why are they going? Okay, look, why are they going to Nigeria? I would, I would expect this, three of cups upright. This would mean celebrations, get togethers, um, everything's happy, celebrating with friends, but we're getting that in the reverse, along with the Hierophant in reverse, which could either be speaking to the royal family, a, a division, the royals unhappy with this trip, or to make the royals unhappy, or it has to do with a separation in their marriage. So this is either about upsetting the royal family, or repairing a marriage. Very strange cards. Very strange cards. Okay, nine of pentacles reversed, upright, single female energy that has it all, independent. In the reverse, it's a female that needs help. So much so, that there's, a, there's an element to it, not an element, the tower came out. She needs help here. Feminine energy, we're asking about Megan and Harry. We're getting a feminine energy that is in a crisis, she needs help. So there's broken friendships, maybe issues with marriage or the royal family, but you know, things came on really quick and she felt like suddenly she's going there for help. Okay, here they are in dire straits here. 
and we've got the eight of cups reverse so this is a card upright it's walking away turning your back on having the courage to turn your back on the things you care about to seek better things but we got it in the reverse guys so it's this is about you're stuck in a situation you don't want to be in what's the situation this poor health you know poor or you need money you, you want to better yourself financially or health wise okay we got the two of pentacles so ups and downs a balancing act and we're getting the royal family now this doesn't have to be the firm it, this is it could i mean it most of the time is though because this ten of pentacles is about generational wealth traditions um multi-generational families Like they're going there because things are uncertain with the with their wealth. The Ten of Pentacles, if you get this, you have it all. Like you're good financially, you're solid, you're set. It seems like we got all these pentacles, two of pentacles, like something's up in the air financially. They're going there to secure the bag somehow, some way. Now here's the secrets. This is interesting because the secrets have to do with Ace of Cups reverse. Now weird. Because upright, this is my L green card, love and happiness. So there's secrets about losing something big here, losing a big opportunity, that, or it's secrets about complete selfishness. They're there for selfish reasons, but keeping it completely secret. It does look like, weirdly enough, and I know I'm going to get eaten alive by this with the comments, but it looks like they're there for financial gain also to make friends looks like something's gone wrong in their friend circle so they're there to secure the bag and some allies some friends what do they what do they hope to gain by this trip to Nigeria what do they hope to gain with this trip what do Megan and Harry hope to gain? Well, they want the secrets out. They want to they want to let some secrets fly. We got the world in reverse. We got the Queen of Wands reversed here. I don't like that. That card has been coming out for Catherine. King of Pentacles money and the fool in reverse what do they hope to gain i don't like these cards i don't like these cards and ending what do they hope to gain five of cups guys grief sadness sorrow so secrets are coming out about grief sadness sorrow focusing on the negative they don't know how to, they don't know how to wrap this all up with the world in reverse. Upright, it's a, it's a nice completion, total ending, everything's great. But it comes out in the reverse, so they don't like how things are going. They don't like the direction things are going in. Also, we got the Ace of Wands reverse. So upright, it's about growth, action, new opportunities for actions. But it's in the reverse here. So why would they want to, they want to end things by not letting anything new grow. By basically like stomping out the weeds, you know, not letting them grow into something pretty. Right in the middle, we've got a Catherine card, usually. But what do they hope to gain? Some type of a sneaky, lying, deceitful move done here by an aggressive female. strange king of pentacles so money things with his past somehow or this could have to do with children this could also be gift giving so maybe they're going to get expensive gifts by a rich man but they're definitely looking at receiving some type of a gift that helps them out financially from a specific man we've got the fool in reverse and the king of cups in reverse so this is a bad choice some for some reason it's a bad choice here for harry 
it's a bad choice for Harry, but why? You know? Let's see what else we can get. Mm, let's take this one. Okay. Explain to us this one. Woo! Caught it. Page of Wands. That's like a match. You know, when you just strike a match, it's like a little having a plan of action that you haven't really started yet. Just getting started on your plan of action. I want to know, we're asking about the true motivation of them going there. Why are we getting this um, aggressive female, frustrated, aggressive female, sneaking around, deceiving things, getting away with things? Explain to us this. Queen of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. We've got the High Priestess in reverse again in the same exact spot. So they're there to tell some secrets, but why? That's the deceit. We've got a selfish move here with the world. Over the world reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed, and then selfishness. A selfish, emotionally selfish move. Okay, here we go. Over the Queen of Wands and this deceit, they're hiding something. The Sun in reverse. What are they hiding? That's the deceit. They're hiding something. It could be a child. We got to get more on that. Let's keep going. We've got the Hierophant. So there's the firm. So he's giving gifts. They're expecting gifts because of their ties to the royal family while they're there. Also, it looks like somebody's going to do... Uh, there's a male that's going to do something hasty, not thought through. He's going to take a dumb action here. It could be aggressive. It's just coming in hot. It, it's staying, not staying for a long time. Very odd. Okay, they're going to spill secrets about conflicts that keep on coming up. So they're talking about, you know, how sad they are. They're going to talk to somebody of importance about how sad they are. They're going to talk about conflicts that keep on coming up for them. Um, they're worried about not having a fresh start. This is their, so, like I'm telling you, there's something that has to do with this trip that makes it reliable. It's not going to be like a quick turnover. Yeah, they're going to get gifts of some kind here, but this isn't going to be like a quick, you know, get rich quick scheme. This is like a long game here. Maybe to hold their money and protect it. Not a lot of money. It's like holding your money and protecting it for a long time, like a long-term investment, maybe? The sun in reverse, along with this deceit in women. Why are we getting the four swords? That is so strange. That's like laying someone to rest, taking a break. But why would it be deceitful? All right, we've, along with this, uh, we, we've got someone injured. Uh, this is Harry to me. Harry's going to, you know, get gifts. He's talking about the royal firm and how he's been left out money-wise, which is how the gifts will come. The Knight of Wands reverse. This is fast action taken against a mother, a female, like a... A mother figure, a female, not Megan. She never comes up as the Empress for me. But it looks like they've struck a deal here with the Two of Cups. They're taking action. They struck a deal. There's that Five of Cups again. Focusing on the negative, being sad. Things aren't working with the Eight of Pentacles. Nothing's working out. We got to do something out of the ordinary. Six of Cups again. They're doing something from the past, receiving gifts. This could also be about the kids, though. Ten of Swords. They're trying to heal from what they see as a betrayal. The gifts, the children will help them heal. Seven of Swords. This, that deception again. That's what we're asking about. We're getting the King of Swords reversed. 
very cold, calculated male is going to get one over on them. He's an intelligent male, but he, it, he, he takes no prisoners. Okay, secrets coming out. Again, it's like Harry's going to be taking too much, you know, partaking a little bit too much. I got to ask about this. This is really bothering me. All right, I understand the gifts. It looks like Harry's going to overly indulge, and that could be a problem. This sadness stuff, they're really going to go for that and how they feel like left out of the royal family. But here, gifts from the rich guy, here. This is what I want to know right here. Why in the world are we getting this woman Getting away with deception. Getting away with something tricky and sneaky. What is going on with this female? And the deception. What type of deception is this female planning on doing while in Nigeria? Queen of Cups reverse. Nine of Swords, a nightmare. Knight of Cups, the Hermit reverse, two of Swords. So they're painted against a corner here. The, they're, we got a, a overly emotional female having a nightmare. So, but they're there because they're getting help out of their problem. Knight of Cups, somebody's coming through helping them. This female is being manipulative though. She's going through a hard time, but she's also, this trip is manipulation. What's her nightmare? She's tied to some dark stuff. She's tied to some sinful stuff. Not just her, her and Harry. Knight of Cups, they need a helping hand. The decision's already been made. The Hermit in Reverse, the Hanged Man. They can't do it. At, this is something they can't do at home. So they have, they've looked near and far and found somewhere that they can do this. They're painted in a corner because of this motherly thing that isn't really so motherly. Okay, I got to ask this question now. Are Harry and Meghan bringing... Archie or Lilibet, are they bringing their son or daughter to Nigeria? Are Archie and Megan, Archie and Megan, are Megan and Harry, do they plan on bringing their son and daughter or son or daughter to Nigeria with them? Do they plan on bringing their kids? Someone's smug here. Wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Over, overwhelmed. They're smug. They're overwhelmed with the Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, Hanged Man, and exchange with the Six of Pentacles. So far, it looks like, okay, hold on. They have to take action to make themselves happy. They're overwhelmed with the group of people. It might be too many people. There's a separation of two energies inside of the home. So they're going to be separated. I think they're going to leave the kids at home. So they're... Let's see. So yeah, it's like they decided on this really, really fast. But look at the exchange, guys. Why are we getting an exchange over this happy family? We asked, are they going to bring their kids there? Look at it in a different way. They plan on doing something fast there. They've thought long and hard about this. They've got hope that action will be taken. All right. You remember those cards about gifts? I'm going to ask. 
what will Megan and Harry come home with from Nigeria that they didn't, have? what will they leave Nigeria with that they didn't come to Nigeria with? So we should get money, cards, invest, or investments, stuff like that. That betrayal wants out. Okay, what will Harry, Megan and Harry leave Nigeria with that they didn't have when they got to Nigeria? Betrayal. That card wanted out and it came back out. Judgment. They made a, a decisions made. Not a lot of growth, not a lot of movement. Going against their morals. They made a decision to go against their morals. They're taking this new path, a fresh start. Look at that, the tower. You guys, it doesn't look like things are going to go that well for them so far. Judgment card. So a decision's made that they're not going to get what they whatever they're coming for. I don't think they're going to get it. They're actually like, this is not going to go well for them. We've got the star in reverse, which is a lack of direction, not having hope, not having uh, healing, no action taken. Wow. This is going to cause a lot of stress and nightmares when it comes to their relationship with the royal family. Whatever they're doing there is not going to go down well at all. And we've got the bullying card. So it's like they're pushing this new path they're being really pushy with it they're taking this new direction they're being pushy but look at these cards the new direction that they're taking is a betrayal their pushiness will be their downfall look at so it looks like they're not going to get this, their wish fulfillment, what they came for, what they're going to Nigeria for. What is this? What is, what do Megan and Harry wish they were bringing back from Nigeria? What do they wish they were leaving Nigeria with? Queen of Cups reversed, a plan with the Two of Wands. They want to actually, like, uh, lessen the degree of fighting, put out some of the chaos. Magician. They're trying to manifest something. They want to make something happen. They want to go with some type of hope, but what they're doing, they're going to get caught undermining the royal family there. That's what it is. They're trying to create a better situation for themselves, a better direction, but at someone else's expense. So I'm going to ask this question. Why doesn't Megan like the royal family? Why doesn't she like them? Or just how does Megan feel about Princess Catherine? How does Megan feel about Princess Catherine? Harry's family. We'll do that. How does Megan feel about Harry's family? Whoa. How does Megan feel about Harry's family? The moon, she's not honest about how she feels. Five of pentacles reversed, two of cups, the lovers reversed, the star reversed. Huh. She's got an idea there about the secrets. She feels like she knows the truth about a lot of secrets. She butted heads with William a lot. She feels like if William wasn't a part of the picture, she would have been more included, more part of things. 
She made a deal here with somebody. Almost forcing them into it or her forcing them into it. Look at that. They tried to separate. She feels like they tried to put an end to their relationship to separate them. And then there they are again, tied to that dark, dark energy. This is the most important. This is the craziest thing to me. So how does she feel about the royals? She made a deal when it comes to the royals. What's this? This is like best friends, soulmates, a pact. Why are we getting the two of cups with Megan and the royal family? Why the two of cups with Megan and the royals? She feels like she's in a mental imprisonment she got herself into. She can't go to the parties anymore. There's a divide, a separation. She's working on things. She doesn't like the way things ended. She doesn't feel like she was listened to. She's got a spy in there. She's got a spy in there. That's the agreement here. She's got a spy. Somebody inside of a broken home watching, spying, collecting gossip. This promise. Yeah, they're telling her secrets. Megan's got someone very close to, I would say, William and Catherine. Telling her secrets. So there's a group here. Three or more people working together on a plan. Of emotional fulfillment. The perfect family. Somebody who works there. Not what they seem with the Page of Cups. Somebody who works there. Maybe a messenger. If somebody like delivers messages. Not what they seem. There's a betrayal with words. This is somebody leaking things to the press, guys. 100%. Somebody's leaking things. Not 100%. You know what I'm saying. We'll lead, pushed around to sell a narrative to us. She's talking to someone. How will Meghan and Harry's trip to Nigeria affect the royal family? How will their trip affect the royal family, if it affects them at all. How will Meghan and Harry's trip to Nigeria affect the royal family? There's the royal family, the Hierophant. Judgment in reverse, so... It's like making a decision, it, a decision's being made for them. The straw that broke the camel's back with the ten of wands reversed. Wow. The hermit. Digging deep. This is some soul searching. Digging deep to come up with this decision. This was not a decision made lightly. How it will affect them is not going to be lightly. Overwhelmed. A feeling of overwhelming the monarchy. How? Queen of Cups reverse. We've got, uh, this is um, a female there that can't control her feelings. Female energy that she could be a mentally unstable. She could be a drinker. Someone connected to the royal family. A female. Judgment in reverse. It's not up to them because of that spy. With the Page of Swords. They're, they've gathered the information. That's the secrets that they're going to tell. Who, who are they meeting with in Nigeria? That, you know? Okay, the straw that broke the camel's back. Look at what we're getting. The Eight 
of cups reversed. So this would be walking away and leaving behind the royal family, like what they said they were gonna do. But it's in the reverse. So it's having one foot in, one foot out. You're stuck in a situation you don't wanna be in. They're gonna, somehow or another, this Nigeria trip is going to put the royal family into a situation they don't wanna be in. A decision will be made for them because of leaked information. Particularly, it's gonna break a, a female connected to the royal family hurt, hurt her emotionally major hurt emotionally and mentally huh. they want them to lose opportunity here ace of pentacles reversed this is an opportunity this is what you want this is health this is money this is things that are important valuable people things you can touch and feel they want them to be overwhelmed with lost opportunities. A judgment's been made about, this is the card we get with Catherine being the mother. Why are we getting the tower in reverse? So how will their Nigeria trip affect the royals? It will hurt them beyond repair. Why? Healing. It, somehow it will affect their healing. Here... Things will not, wow. Someone's jealous. Someone wants their own form of justice. They feel heartbroken. They want things to change with that death card. Guys, a male is emotional. Wants money. There's something that they found out here with the Page of Pentacles. And it's a conflict that keeps on, that same conflict that keeps coming up. They want to spread the word about this conflict. They're telling, they're going there to tell the royal secret. That's their plan. Yeah, look, plan to tell the truth. They're telling the truth about their secrets, but what in the world could they tell Nigeria that would hurt the royal family like this? Look, I'm going to ask it. How will Meghan and Harry's trip to Nigeria affect the royal family's health? How will their trip to Nigeria affect the royal family's health? If at all. How will Meghan and Harry's trip to Nigeria affect the royal family's health? An injustice. Things will not be fair. They won't be balanced. Not in a good way. Because somebody's trying to get over an emotional pain. Look at that. Here's our wounded warrior. Somebody that's used, abused, battered, not feeling well, but it's up for no another fight. This is quitting. Throwing in the towel. Injury. Not having your guard up. Just like, you know, think of white blood cells, right? Defend you. Someone is going to be defenseless. They're not going to get their wish fulfillment. It's not going to be fair. Catherine. Because of a female. is it, Look at these cards. There's a female. Queen of swords. She's the ice queen. When her sword's down, she's ruthless. Looking directly over here at Catherine's card. Under the injustice. Who's trying to... This female here is trying to heal herself emotionally with an injustice to Catherine. They're trying to separate people here, separate energies, hurt them even more. How will their health be affected? In a really bad way, I think. Seven of... So defenseless against the bullying... Doing something out of the ordinary. Not having control over two possible, or no, how will it affect the royal family? Not going to work, uh, work engagements, not being able to fully charge forward. It's gonna affect them and they're gonna have to do, make some type of one-way exchange in order to progress, to move on. They're gonna have a hard time growing, uh, 
growing their good cells, growing their health, doing new things, having energy. There's the king, especially the king. They're going to try to rally the troops, but they're still going to look unreliable and independable as far as like how the public sees them. Harry's making a deal, but they're going to get caught, get caught red handed. Why would somebody want to pull this deception? Why would somebody want to lie, cheat and steal in order to affect someone else's emotional happiness? But that's what we're seeing here. Action being taken. They're going to tell secrets. I don't get this, guys. They're going to tell secrets and it's going to affect their health. If you haven't seen already, please go back and look at my Megan and Harry in Jamaica reading. I really do suggest that. Let's all just be adults and talk about things. You know, I'm a big girl. As long as you're nice to me, I'm open to suggestions and how you guys read the cards differently. So um, let's be nice to each other. These are powerful people that we don't know. We're just peons here having some kitchen table talk and being respectful to each other. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like. Thank you guys. Bye.